Hare Krishna, today is January 16th, and the quote for today is called, Small souls forgive too. Not just Mahatmas, but Anuttamas, little souls forgive also. And the quote says, Don't think the great acts of forgiveness are only reserved for the great souls. We can perform them as well. Great acts of forgiveness cannot only be done by great souls. Average souls like you and me can do them as well. Of course, doing this is the way we become great souls. So I've often said that if you want to be great, then you do acts of greatness, even if you're not great. And sometimes the problem is that we think we have to be great to do acts of greatness. It's true, in a sense, you have to be great to have great consciousness, but you don't necessarily have to be great to do acts of greatness. And what we're saying in this quote here today is that by acting greatly, then you develop the consciousness of the greats. So... If we think only when I become great, I can act great, then we may wait for the day to become great before we act great, and that's a mistake. As I've often said, the path to forgiveness is paved with the practice of forgiveness. So it's the practice that brings us there. That's the whole process of spiritual life. Everything is a practice. And imitation simply means that when I practice acting in a specific way, if I'm not on that level, it's only a practice, and I think I'm actually on that level, that's called imitation. But if I'm not on that level, I understand I'm not on that level, and I understand that I have to do the practice because I'm not on that level, then that's the proper way to practice. It's the proper consciousness. So by the practice of doing the right thing, I develop the consciousness by which, eventually, I will automatically do the right thing. So in this way we understand that we don't have to be great to do something great. We can act greatly because it's the way we should act. But even we're not great yet, still by acting greatly, those actions purify us. And we start to imbibe the proper consciousness through the action. It's kind of um, sometimes mystical in that you imbibe the consciousness of the activity that you're performing, it starts to change you, it starts to transform you, you start to pick up on the consciousness, even if you force yourself. And sometimes we've done in our forgiveness workshop, we've done exercises where we ask people to appreciate the person they're forgiving, and a lot of people don't want to do it. But anyway, we ask them to do it, and practically everyone, I think probably everyone, experiences that but even by forcing themselves to appreciate the other person, even if it wasn't real, they just had to force themselves to find something good about the other person, there was a shift in their consciousness. There was a shift in the way they felt about the person. So that's an example of forcing yourself to act in a particular way and then imbibing the consciousness that's needed for the action so that we could naturally act that way, as we would on a higher stage of Krishna consciousness. So that's the idea of today's quote. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada.